If you give me just a couple minutes of your time, then I'll be able to teach you how to save up to £25 on your purchase of the next FIFA. Now, I'm not going to tell you to use App Nana or download some dodgy key generator. It's just really easy. If you stay right to the end, the last tip will teach you how to save the most money possible on your purchase and get the ultimate edition for like £63. Who wouldn't want to do that? Anyway, let's get into the video. Right, so if you look on the Xbox website here for... Britain, as you can see, it says ENGB. It's £89.99 plus to pre order the Ultimate Edition or £89.99 with EA Access. Now, EA Access is normally about £5 for the one month or it's quite a bit more for 12 months. Instead, if you want to save your money on this, let's keep a total in the top corner starting at £89.99. We go to this link bit.ly slash one EA Access. And on here, you will see that for $2.99, you can get EA Access for a one-month subscription on your Xbox. So, that will save you a little bit of money there. So, let's just keep a running total. We have £80.99, which is what it will be down now we have our EA Access. But, we spend another £2.99, so that's up at £83.99, as it says in the top corner. So, yeah, first way to save a little bit of money on it, and actually a decent amount, is by using EA Access. Right, so once you've already got EA Access, this is where things start to get a bit different. Basically, EA and Microsoft don't price it at the same throughout every country, and not every currency is worth the same amount. For example, you'll be paying £89.99 as your basic price, or now we're at £83.98. You will also be paying $83.98. So, the f first way to save your money is to go to this website, xboxstarchecker.com, and I'm just going to show you again by opening this, but if we search in FIFA 20, it will then just come up with a massive list of games. So you've got the Standard Edition, the Ultimate, and uh, the Ultimate as well. I don't know why there are two editions of the Ultimate, but there are. Uh, if we go to this one, though, you'll see... That this has an extra discount of 10% just on this website, and that is how you save your money. So, if we're looking uh, on here, it seems as if you've got a couple of different currencies. You've got South Korea, which works, but it's not the easiest to get gift cards in South Korean money, or most people don't have it, but you don't need to get gift cards. Gift cards are what I'm going to talk about next. If you have your phone, there is an app that you can use called Revolut. Now, uh, I'm not going not gonna to show everything on here, but use this, and basically Revolut lets you convert between different currencies. So, for example, if I press exchange on here, you can uh, kind of see it, but what I'll do, let's do that, is you can then choose your different currency. So, if I chose uh, US dollars and said I wanted, like, I don't know, 97 US dollars, it tells you how many pounds it is which is actually making you a pretty decent saving there isn't it so this is the easy thing that we do we go on this website and on the website we'll just have a look so Korean uh, money is one of the ones you could look at but the big thing is you need to hover over it and where it says on the side the location it also says payment by, by gift card is possible that's good for you if you have a card that charges high fees it also says taxes are included because if you look at Canada or US dollars, they don't include the sales tax on it. And there's about Canada, the cheapest one you can get is a 5% if you put your bill and address as somewhere in Alberta or for the US if you put it as Alaska, Oregon or Delaware, you don't need to pay any. But that's not the best to go to. If you look at the Australian one here, this is good for if you then go into pay directly in that currency which is what I'll do using my Revolut bank it's so much easier so you see uh, 111.96 with EA access so let's just see we're gonna get that 111.96 down to 61 pounds 93 for this so we get 61 pounds 93 then all we have to do is add £2.99 that gives us a total of £64.52 so far for the ultimate edition of FIFA 20 that is if you buy it in Australian dollars but there may even be a way to get it any cheaper if you look at US dollars uh, we can just close our Australian dollars but in the top corner it will say Australian dollars 
cost you that amount we have US money which is one of the things that we can talk about so as I said earlier if we look at it, US dollars, let's, uh, go to United States English. This website is brilliant for all games. $79.99 with the A access, which is actually. Yeah, that's that's giving you a bigger saving than the British one does. Yeah, someone's messed up there. But if you go on here, put in $79.99, that's $62.79. So again, if we just, we just have a look here, if you want to buy it in, in US dollars, it's got to cost you like a tiny bit extra but if uh, there are a couple of links in the description one of these is to take you to get Xbox gift cards which is where again you can save a lot of money so $50 for £36.49 on cdkeys.com it's the place I recommend I've used G2A before had bad experiences I will personally say that I've not signed into my account I've used CD keys since 2014 for my Xbox Live, for EA Access, for everything. I can personally vouch for them. Just uh, make sure you're on a product that has good ratings. This has 25 five star ratings. It, it's good. So that's going to cost us £36.49 for $50. Let's see what the actual saving is we're doing on that. £36.49. We're actually only paying like $46.49 for that. So it means that we can save more money. This won't work for the Ultimate Edition. Because the Ultimate Edition, if you can only get a 50 and a 25, for example, that won't make up your $80. You could just pay the other $5 yourself and you will still save money. But if you go on Xbox Store Checker again and we search for you for 20, you'll see that we've got the Champions Edition. If you don't need a one to watch, if you just want to get it early, go on here, press on see prices. See, US dollars is here and you can't see America, you can't see uh, British pounds anywhere near it. Because it costs way more, and they really overcharge us people in Europe. Uh, here it's shown that Canadian dollars are actually the cheapest to in, but it's only about like four dollars, and you've got to pay the five percent tax. No one could really be bothered. Uh, if you look on here though, seventy one ninety nine with the A access. Factor in our price that we've got to pay on top of that anyway for the A access. If you don't already have EA access, a lot of people do, so that'd be good for them, and. If you have EA access, by the way, you can actually refund it if you buy it straight through the Xbox, but it costs more. Your refund may not work, so I just recommend the CD keys way. But if you look here, uh, FIFA 20 Champions Edition, that we've got $71.99. So, $71.99. Uh, we then just need to do this. So, $71.99 is £56.51. So, this is where we're going to start off. So, £56.40. No, £2.99, and we need to get ourselves up to enough dollars. So, £2.99 plus the Price's First gift card that gets us to $50, which is $36.49. This took ages to work out. Then, we need to add the price of our 25 one. And once again, these are all in the description. Use those links in the description. It's the quickest way to get all of them. It saves you having to look around. This one, $18.99 for a $25. So if we then add on $18.99, that is worth £58.47. I've had a but that then gives you the extra money so you can just like get yourself some FIFA points or something. That is another option you can do. But I would recommend Australian money. Do all of that. It is so easy. You can save yourself so much. And I hope you've enjoyed that. You can also do the exact same thing for FIFA points. So I don't know if uh, Xbox Star Checker has it on here. But if we search FIFA points, it might show up. Yeah, so let's have a look at 12,000 FIFA points. This is just me padding out the time of this. Um, let's just see. So, 12,000 Viva points is uh, $83.78 if you buy it with Aussie dollars. If you buy it with British pounds, you're paying $101. So, you're paying like 20 US dollars extra for the exact same products as someone else on the other side of the world. That shouldn't really happen, but it's a way that you can save a lot of money for yourself, and get a much better version of the game, and not have to break the bank if you don't want to go for these versions, it also means 
that you can even get like you're really uh, you can get this version of the game for example for really cheap so if we I don't know what's the cheapest on here is for US dollars fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents but of course you get your money off fifty three ninety nine US dollars forty two pounds right you, you can pay forty two pounds to get FIFA 20 when everyone else is paying way more and they're having to wait and collect it from somewhere this you will then get it straight into your Microsoft account once it's in your Microsoft account you can just change the location on your Xbox that's super easy to to do if you don't know how to do it you should probably have a phone Google it on your phone or even a computer that'll work that'll get you the best place for it and it's just easy because it saves you a lot of money you get the game on the day of release uh, and if you go for a champions or ultimate edition then you also get to play the things such as Volta football three days earlier than everyone else and you get to play your ultimate team three days earlier than everyone else and get so much of an advantage and if you go for the champions edition you get those three days earlier you're actually paying less than some people will end up paying for the standard edition of the game so there is no reason for you to be paying full price for it when they're doing this so i hope you've enjoyed this video it took me absolutely ages to find the best places to find this website because there was an old one that i used to use that's now deprecated doesn't work there are a couple of tutorials on reddit i watched if not i watched that i read if i can find the links to them i will put them in the description to kind of thank them for helping but if not, thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like it. It helps absolutely so much with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, some of these links, I think, are affiliate links anyway, so I get a tiny kickback if you order through them. So thank you. I don't have a Microsoft affiliate account yet. I might do. It might change in the future. Thank you so much if you've watched this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.